Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading called Torn Between Two Lovers. And this was actually a suggestion from one of my followers, although I've had many people suggest this topic to me over the past couple of months. And so this person brought it to my attention again. I was like, okay, let's do this. So this is if you, it could, it could be a couple different situations, honestly. It's just you feel torn between two different people, whether you're in a relationship with one of them or not, or you're trying to choose between two people, whatever the situation is, if you're married, if you're single, if you're divorced, if you're in a separation, if you're um, in a relationship, if you're not, it's just kind of going to be open to you guys for whatever your situation is, if you feel like you're being torn between two lovers. And so, um, all of these messages, there might be parts of it that are going to apply to you and parts of it that might not. Only take what resonates um, and you know trust your gut first and foremost with any of the messages that come out. And if you have any more specific questions, you can receive your own personal reading over at promiseharmony.com slash services. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and choose number one, two, or three. So number one, Number two or number three? Number one, the quartz. Number two, the jasper. Number three, the black lace obsidian. So if you choose number one, we're going to get started. And keep in mind, this is a general reading that may not apply to everyone. So we're starting with the courts. So let's just look into your situation right now. You're feeling torn between two lovers. Go ahead and decide before we get into this reading who lover A is and who lover B is. So who is lover A, who is lover B? We might start the reading and you might realize, okay, that's lover A and the next one's lover B. Whether lover A is like one crush and lover B is another crush or Lover A is your boyfriend and lover B is like somebody else you're into or whatever. Um, you can choose and I'll give you a moment to, to do that, to choose who's lover A and who's lover B. Okay, so we're going to start with lover A. So you might need to pause and just decide who is who or you might want to listen a little bit and kind of you'll kind of get into it. But um, let's just pull for like what's going on between you and lover A. Okay, so this person who we're going to call lover A definitely is thinking about reconnecting with you. This could be somebody that you had a past with. It could be an ex, it could be an old friend. It could be someone that you might be long distance with or kind of out of contact with a little bit. Um, and I'm seeing that there's a very, very strong relationship there. And this person's been through a lot. I keep seeing these messages about them going through these death cycles and like being called to this new path, figuring out like what they want in their life, what their truth is. I see them having a lot more fun right now and um, being open to reconnecting and manifesting some um, beautiful things into their life. So they're in a pretty good position right now, this person. Um, there seems to be some kind of message coming through about them wanting to connect with you so let's see how does lover a feel about you Pulling just a couple more cards. So 
So what I am seeing here is there is a complexity. A lot of cards did come out. Um, this person does feel a little betrayed by you, a little rejected by you. Um, this person overall is happy with where they're at in life right now. Um, lover A is definitely, you know, thinking about reconnecting with you. Um, they feel safe and secure with what they built for themselves in their life. They've been very focused on their own happiness. There's an element of them that's been waiting to hear from you. Um, they, but they've done a lot of healing, I see. Things are seem to be just going really well for them. Um, they're very focused on their abundance. They're, they're, you know, receiving a lot right now. Things are looking better. Um, they're dedicated and very protective over their situation. Um, but I see that they have feelings for you. You know, they do have feelings for you. They're not sure where they want to go with these feelings. They kind of feel like they're going around and around in circles. A lover aid definitely has feelings for you. Um, has a lot going that's really good in their life right now. They're at a good place place to make decisions. Uh, does that include, you know, you? We'll have to see because, you know, there are feelings here, but then they're also feeling a little rejected. And then there's also this message about them, you know, trying to kind of move on and really focused on their own um, situation over here. But Lover A is definitely thinking about you. So let's go ahead and move on to Lover B and see what's going on with Lover B. So the second person. So what's going on with Lover B? The energy between you guys. Okay, so with you and Lover B, I get the feeling this might be someone that you've been connected with romantically or are still connected with. This could be a boyfriend or an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend or an ex-girlfriend or a partner or an ex-partner, something like that. Um, and so I'm seeing that there has been a lot in this relationship that you guys have accomplished together, but there's this feeling of something's missing um, one or both of you guys ha are deciding or have decided it's time to step away from this. So I see this message about you guys being single or in separation. Um, and then we do see the separation card here because it seems like there's a new love coming in. So maybe this person like met someone else. Maybe you met someone else. Maybe this has to do with lover A. Um, but I'm seeing... There was a really beautiful honeymoon period between you guys. There was this beautiful relationship, but <clears throat> overall, it's like one or both of you guys really wants a fresh start and wants to build a new foundation. And, um, excuse me, <coughs> what I'm seeing here is that there's going to be fulfillment for you in love. But I don't know if it's with love or be because I think you guys are going to decide to break up if you haven't already or this has just happened. Because I see this decision to take another opportunity for healing. And I don't know if that's in this relationship or not. And so um, let's go ahead and get some clarification on what the situation is with love or be. Yeah, there's understanding on both sides. I, this is honesty. This I feel this energy around lover B of a relationship that's like really run its course, um, and that has been that. It's like there's an understanding on both sides, whether it's been discussed or not. So let's go ahead and see what lover B's feelings are to you. Lover B's feelings. Right. 
Okay, so what I'm seeing is that lover B is not really feeling it romantically. And it has something to do with them feeling a natural pull away from this relationship. Maybe you guys are staying together because of the children or because you guys share pets or you share property or you share finances or home or, or all of the above. Or maybe you guys just have this really this connection and you've grown so much together, but I'm seeing that lover B isn't waiting anymore um, for this to work out and wants to step away. And so the cards seem to point towards lover A in this situation. Um, you know, remember this is general. This could be just a reflection of um, an aspect of the relationship where this part of the reading may not apply to everybody. But I think for a lot of you guys, this is a message like to move forward if you're getting messages to break up or to um, just be, be open to this kind of going in another direction, maybe not romantically, you know? So let's go ahead and see um, the outcome of lover A and lover B, what that looks like. So lover A, if things work out with lover A, if you choose lover A, um, you know, just general um, outcome as far as where the energy is at right now. This could shift um, a little bit, but this is just kind of based on the current energy when you're watching this. Lover B. Okay, Lover B. So if you choose lover A and this works out with this person, um, I mean, I do see that you need to make up your mind soon and decide what you want if you feel like you're being torn between two people. So they're saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And um, you are very much attracted to lover A, to this person. And, um, and I do see there's still a little bit of confusion because of what's going on over here with this other person. Um, but I do see if this works out with this person, you know, your home situation could be changing. You guys might be moving in together or moving to be closer to them. Um, and I do see you'll be safe and you'll be protected. I think you just have fears about what's going to happen with your home, with your lot in life and all that. I see it working out. Um, if this choice opens up to you, if you move forward with this, um, but I do see a lot of attraction. It's possible things can move forward in the next three to six months if you make up your mind and, and cl clearly decide what you want. So um, now for lover B, what I see is this energy, like if you were with this person or you chose this person, lover B, um, a lot of frustration, you know? Um, and, and I see the frustration card next to the challenge card. I've gotten this feeling this whole time your heart really is with lover A. Um, you want to take a new path. You want to take a risk. You want to take a leap of faith. You know, you want out of this connection. You still feel the soulmate, you know, vibe with you guys, which is what is rough. And it might be because financially you guys are tied together because of the career thing. It's hard to break up with this person. Or um, maybe you're just putting a lot of your energy into your career right now because there's just, it's hard for you right now in love. Um, it's hard because lover B, you know, you really do feel true love coming from them, but there's this energy that there's this incompatibility or something that one or both of you guys aren't able to find a common ground about right now that's kind of a deal breaker. And so there's this free yourself card coming out saying it seems like you, you really want to free yourself from this connection. So to me in this reading, all signs seem to point to lover A as far as like where your feelings are and where your emotions are and where you feel the most compatible. And so um, let's see if we can just get you a final message overall on this entire reading from my angel deck. Final message.
you know, this is a learning experience for sure, um, but I think they're also reminding you to focus on your education. If you're in school right now, maybe you have some decisions to make regarding that. Maybe this is like focus on yourself, get your thing going, educate yourself. Like, what do you need to do next to move towards your plans, your dreams, your goals? And trust that by like taking action on yourself first, this air part of your life will fall into place. Maybe it's not time for you to make such a hasty decision when it comes to your love life. But maybe this will bring to your your uh, mind like where your heart really is and what decisions you need to start moving towards making. If you if you know want to find more peace, feeling torn between two different people, who is it that you need to let go of? Are you being called to let go of one or both of these connections? That's a good question to ask yourself. Um, but I see things moving forward for you when it comes to your job, your career, um, needing and like a need to get that sorted as as part of you know, kind of helping clear this energy as well. It's not like ignore the situation, but spend time thinking about it while you're also making steps toward, toward your, for yourself and for your future. And um, as you start to become more confident making these new choices, things start to flow a little bit more and might become more clear what choice you need to make in this situation. So I hope this message resonates with you. If you have any questions or you'd like to hear more, you can head over to promiseharmony.com slash services, and I'll see you later. All right, you guys, so for those of you guys who choose number two, the Jasper, we're going to get started, and I'm going to go ahead and shuffle my cards a little bit. I need to sort them after the last reading, so you guys can just hang out with me for a second. So the topic is torn between two lovers. So for whatever reason, you feel like you're in a situation where you have to choose between two different people or two different people are on your heart or on your mind. And this definitely happens. <laughs> I think it, I would like to say almost it happens to everyone or to a lot of people because I get a lot of clients where this has happened to them. It's happened to me in my life before. And so I think I have this level of understanding of it for sure. And this is just to kind of see if we can provide some clarity just kind of get you thinking about it if you need to make any choices or if you're, you're trying to choose or you're trying to let anyone go or just kind of find more peace in the situation, then this is definitely a reading for you. So go ahead and decide right now who, who these two people are and which one is going to be lover A and which one is going to be lover B. That way we can reference them throughout the reading and not get them mixed up. I might start and you might realize, okay, this person's definitely lover A, this person's definitely lover B, but I, it's up to you and your intuition to kind of decide. Um, so which one is lover A, which one is lover B, okay? So let's get started with like what's going on between you and lover A, okay? So you and lover A, this person that you're into, one of these two people you're having a hard time choosing between, this is one of them, this is lover A, and we're going to see what is going down like just what's up with this connection the energy between you guys Okay, so what I see here is a situation where you guys are like into each other. You guys want to give this relationship a chance, but there's some blockages here. I feel like these blockages could be one or both parties are married. So there could be like third party, fourth party, more people involved in the whole situation. Um, I also feel like that's not possible or in addition to um, a situation where like career and money and finances have a lot to do with the connection and maybe even distance. Um, and it couldn't even be like a social thing or a cultural thing or a, um, a background thing or even just like a, it could be many different factors that are kind of separating you guys right now because I do feel separation here. I feel like you guys spent some time getting to know each other. There was love that was shared here and both of you guys are kind of thinking underneath like in the background like about this connection sometimes. 
but I do feel like the chemistry has kind of left the connection <clears throat> because one or both parties, I just see somebody here is married or both parties are married. And so there's a commitment to somebody who, you know, they're with, maybe they're not married, but they're like in um, a relationship or you're in a relationship still. And so there's that blockage. So you guys have gotten to know each other. You guys have expressed your love, but there's a third party involved or fourth, even fourth party involved where there's other relationships that are going on. And so this is <clears throat> almost kind of like a forbidden romance kind of vibe. Um, and I feel like there hasn't been a lot of communication and you guys have been kind of like sneaking around a little bit. You know, there's a lot of respect you guys have for each other. Um, but there's like a fear of, of connection and um, because I just see this wedding card and it's really making me think somebody's married or this is also could mean a committed relationship. So because of somebody's relationship, someone's commitment they have to another person, maybe it's like you guys can't be together. Maybe the person, this, this lover A has a partner or maybe you have a partner or maybe you have a partner and lover a has a partner but there's like this still this connection thing here and so it's like an interesting situation there's definitely some energy that's been put out towards this connection but i don't really see a lot going on um doesn't mean you guys don't have chemistry it's just there hasn't been anything going on like and you guys are both kind of going back and forth thinking like you know do i want to do this do i not is this the person that like want to connect with or it might you know what is this it's like there hasn't been enough time to really explore it although there was a time where you guys were getting to know each other so that's um lover a and we're going to see what are lover a's feelings about you and towards you Okay, so I feel like you've been getting the vibe from them that they're just not into you. They're not, they don't have that attraction or chemistry for you. They haven't really been very playful. You've been feeling just this dark energy coming from them or just this wall. Um, and I feel like that's a front because it's very interesting. What I see in the cards is that this person, lover A, does want to reconcile, does want to express how they truly feel and wants, you know, to separate um, wants the separation between you guys to end. Um, but it, this seems like they're protecting themselves though. And I think it's because they're with another person or something like that, or because they don't want to intrude on your relationship or something like that. So it just seems like there's kind of a blockage, but they do have feelings, you know, there are feelings here. And so next we're going to go on to lover B and see what's going on there. And then we'll go ahead and just get like a, a final outcome. So now lover B So what's like going on in general between you and lover B, the other person that you're having a hard time like choosing between? I see what you mean about feeling torn because it's a kind of almost similar relationship that you have here with lover B, except I feel like you guys might actually be in a relationship or you have been before. There's like a really strong connection here, a lot of time and energy spent with lover B. And so they're saying, um, you know, you really want to give this relationship a chance. You've been working on this partnership. You know, there is a codependency in a way where you guys are still learning how to like live your own life and take your own steps and, um, you know, work on yourself and stuff like that. Um, that could even point to somebody in the relationship who has an addiction um, for some of you guys, but not for all of you guys. Um, but here we, we see that because of your feelings you have for lover A, 
with lover B, you're feeling more of an unrequited love. You're feeling like there's not a lot of chemistry here. There's a lot of energy that seems to be driving you apart from this person. Like you're trying to let go of the past with this person so you can just be in the moment with them, but it's hard. So there's part of you that's just been kind of sticking on in this relationship. Um, you haven't been making a lot of plans to move forward. I do see an element of celebration though, because they're saying it's your destiny to continue walking this path for a little bit longer with lover B. Um, cause there's some opportunities in store and there's still some karma that needs to be worked out. Like you're just going through a rough time. So I don't know. It seems like the cards are saying like your heart doesn't seem to be in the, in it with lover B. And so you have some decisions to make if that resonates with you, if you're in a relationship with them. Um, but for some of you guys, there is a chance to kind of work through this. Maybe you need to release lover A to be able to commit to lover B, but yeah, it's true. You gotta, you gotta let go of somebody or maybe both, you know? It's really up to what your intuition is calling you to do. So next, what we're gonna do is we're going to see what would happen if you move forward with lover A, like if things worked out with them, um, and then what would it look like if you move forward with lover B if things like worked out with them? So you can kind of like compare the outcomes. So lover A. Yeah, this is a hard one because your heart really seems to be with lover A. Like it, you really want to like commit to them and have this passion. And, um, you know, the, this could be the one card <clears throat> is coming out over here with lover A. And I see that you would feel like you got out of a sticky situation if you got with them. You'd feel like, oh, finally, I'm, I'm on top. Finally, like I'm in this good place. Um, I feel like it would really trigger a lot of your insecurities getting to that place though, if you just chose lover A, because it's like they're not ready to commit right now. And so I do see an element of you having to be comfortable on your own. It's a big risk, you know, but you would be following your passion. And I see a lot of generosity, a lot of abundance coming out to the universe for you um, on this path. And, and just, there's another card talking about taking a new path. Um, this is lover B. It says that you, for some reason, feel like there's this is the end of that relationship. Um, and you, you gained a lot of lessons, a, a lot of blessings and, and lessons from it. And um, you just feel like you're stuck in the same place with lover B. And so there's this message to make the effort to fulfill yourself in love, whether that's repairing this relationship, because I do see a really strong soulmate connection with you guys. Maybe you're connected through children or maybe your inner children are just really bonded or you guys have a home together. Um, or something like that, and so you want to preserve that. Um, and so they're saying, you know, trust yourself what decision you want to make, but it really does seem like your heart is taught, is is thinking about lover A a lot more. This could be the one. There's passion here. It's like you want to get with them, or there's some kind of engagement coming um, as far as coming into a relationship, or maybe even a literal engagement. Um, and part of you is very insecure about taking this path, but it seems like there's passion here and you know, you would be blessed. I see you'd be blessed either way, but it does seem like the cards lean more towards lover A, but it's up to you, like what messages really spoke with you. So I hope that this message resonates with you. If you're interested, head over to promiseharmony.com slash services to receive your own personal reading. So next we're going to head on to number three. If you chose the black lace obsidian, And what we're going to do is we're going to see what's going on between these two people that you feel really torn between in love. So before we get started, I want you to go ahead and decide who is going to be who in this reading because we're going to be referencing 
two different people and we don't want to get confused. So you're going to go ahead and choose lover A or lover B. So decide which person is lover A and which person is lover B. And maybe after hearing me talk, it'll kind of make sense, um, but use your intuition. And right now, if you can decide which person is going to be lover A and which person's going to be lover B. So if you're feeling torn between two different people, let's just see what's going on between you and lover A first. The first person, lover A, what is going on in this connection? So what I'm seeing for this person is this this might be someone that your friends don't know about or your family doesn't know about or that um, is kind of on the DL. Maybe not someone, someone you've been hooking up with or someone that you, you wouldn't necessarily call your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your partner. Um, or maybe it's someone that your friends and family don't really like or get along well with. But you have a really good time with this person and you're optimistic, like you really have some good feelings around them. Um, but I'm seeing this message of maybe this person doesn't really have their finances well together or is, isn't their home situation isn't completely in a good situation or they're just going through a hard time in their life where they're trying to like get on top again. It's been kind of a downswing for them lately. Um, and so there's some red flags here because you're just like, you want a more stable situation. Um, but this person does really connect you with people. You might have met them in like a social scene or something like that, or like maybe at a club or a bar or at an event or um, through other friends or something like that. This is someone who definitely likes to get out and have a good time or just like host parties and stuff like that. Um, and so there's an aspect of you that like has been having this honeymoon period with them, getting to know them. But there's part of you is also really afraid, like, am I going to get burned again? Like, is this going to, you know, is this person going to commit to me? So part of you does want to free yourself from this connection. Um, let's get some more clarification on what's going on between you and lover A. Yeah, you're, you're coming to a new perspective and you really want to keep your integrity. And so you're kind of feeling at this point where you're like, okay, I need to know what this is, you know, so we can move forward. Or you're feeling kind of like, I, I want, to, you know, I need to be honest and make a choice here because there's also this other person that I'm kind of into. And so part of you is just, once again, feeling caught between two lovers here um, and wanting to make like a responsible decision, wanting to take some kind of action. And so now we're going to see how does lover A feel about you. Just got to shuffle the cards up. Okay, so how does lover A feel about you? Okay, almost got it. Yeah, this sounds like somebody who doesn't really want to commit to a relationship. You know, they've made the effort to flirt with you Oh my gosh, I just pulled the flirt card right when I said that. That was weird. They made the effort to flirt with you, um, but they're they're not looking at in getting into a relationship. I see a lot of delays here. They're at a huge transition in their life right now. They're just, just trying to rest, maybe even a little bit of depression or just lethargicness, like really trying to just like trying to make a decision, indecision, back and forth, up and down, kind of going through that dark night of the soul you know, stage of spiritual awakening where you're really being called to let go of so many things and make new choices to move forward. And so I do see the universe coming in with some kind of divine intervention and um, this person being set on a good path and um, eventually committing to some kind of relationship. I even see marriage in this, in, in, in this person's future, you know, in lover A's future. But right now they're just kind of going with the flow. They're not looking at a connection. And so, um, but they are flirting with you, you know? And so 
I, as far as what their feelings are for you, I see that there's feelings, but for them, it means a different thing. You know what I'm saying? So next, we're going to go ahead and look at Lover B and just see what the situation is between you and Lover B. So this is you and the other person. So there's a message coming out that says lover B and you are definitely going to connect again. Um, this is true love. You, you feel safe with this person. Um, and there's not as many red flags here with Lover B. This seems like somebody who wants to commit. Um, Lover B seems to be very focused on their work, though. They don't feel very empowered right now. Something like with things changing at work or like their work schedule or just feeling overloaded or overburdened, a little burned out. And so there's a message about them being a little distracted right now because of that. And then I also see... Um, Lover B is, yeah, they're focused on trying to make a decision regarding their dating life for sure. If they're going to, you know, take the next level of commitment. And this could be to you, you know. So I think they're thinking about, you know, do I want to commit? Do I not? But since you're tor torn between two different people, they might be holding back just a little bit with you is the message that I'm getting. And so you're feeling that energy and you, you're feeling like, oh, I have to do something. I need to pick and I need to commit but, but I do see like more true love here you know there's a safety here there's a familiarity there's comfort here there's true love here and so very interesting um next what we're going to do is we're going to see what lover b's feelings are towards you so how does lover b feel about you Yeah, they definitely have feelings for you. I mean, we're seeing the romantic feelings cards. So yeah, they have romantic feelings. You know, they're pretty optimistic about where this relationship is headed, even if they're pulling back a little bit right now. Um, you know, but at the same time, they're not sure if they want to give this relationship a chance if you don't. So I feel like the ball's kind of in your court right now. Um, this person does feel like you're the one. They feel very strongly connected to you, but they're only going to give back as much as you put in. Because I feel like they've been giving and giving and they've been feeling kind of like you've been the one who's a little distant. But this is a safe connection for you. And they, they do feel safe with you. Um, but right now, they don't feel as empowered in the relationship. And it's probably because your focus is going a little bit towards lover A. And so to bring balance and to restore this relationship, let's see what the cards have to say. You know to take this opportunity and um, continue to find ways to be creative, to express yourself so that you feel fulfilled in life. Um, let's see what the cards have to say about you being with lover A or you being with lover B. Like if it all worked out perfectly and you could be with lover A, what would that look like? And the same thing with lover B. So if you ended up with lover A, Now lover B. If you ended up with lover B. Ended up with lover B. If you ended up with lover A. So we see the free yourself card again with lover A. So if you ended up with lover A, I don't know about this one because it's saying new love, you know, free yourself. This two messages. For some of you guys, this might be that lover A is somebody new you've kind of gotten into, but they're telling you get over this, choose lover B because there's like more connection there. Maybe for a few of you guys, lover B is actually your new love. But either way, it seems to be pointing towards lover B and I'll tell you why. Um, there's... 
this foundation that you ha have with lover A and that you're really longing for, you're trying to manifest, but I don't know if you're going to get it with this person. They definitely respect you, but I feel like they can't commit, so they're going to be leaving you heartbroken. And then there's this card over here pointing towards, you know, lover B. And there's the celebration card is reversed. I think this person might be seeing other people or might just be more open to casual dating right now, not as much of a commitment. Um... And lover B, I see they're saying, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you might choose lover B or you might choose neither. And they're saying, let your friends help you. Hang out with your friends. Tell them what's going on. Maybe even get professional help or therapy if that is something that you feel like it's, this is just too much because I do feel like this burden. But I also feel like it's going to be over soon and you'll be able to plan your future. Just kind of figuring this out, making a choice here. It does seem like you have a choice to make. Um, and there's opportunities on the other side of this, though. Um, your home situation could be changing if you if you stay with Lover B or in relation to Lover B. I see you being able to gracefully transition into this new opportunity. So I hope that this message resonates with you and provides you some clarity. Keep in mind that it is a person or a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If you'd like a personal reading, head over to promiseharmony.com slash services. And thank you so much, you guys, for all of your support. I hope this one resonates with you. I'm really excited to see what you guys say down in the comments. And I'll see you later. Peace out.